Okay, so what we have here is a 2012 Unibody 13 inch MacBook Pro. This one has a common problem is the power button. So the machine doesn't power on, it's dead. Okay, which is it's unusual. There's no liquid damage whatsoever. However, when you try to power on with the power button, as you can see, it does have no fan spin. So the machine is not powering on. But to tell you, the machine actually powers on. It's just what it is, the main power button that is connected to the actual keyboard is dead. And if you check this out, uh, you can't really replace the, uh, fix the power button because the power button is directly connected to the actual keyboard. So to fix the issue with the power button, you have to replace the keyboard entirely, which is that's kind of long and it's, it's a bit time consuming as well, which is you have to take everything apart, board, CD, and all the stuff. There's a way you can still power on without using this power button. So the most common way to actually power this machine is is to actually unplug the battery so unplug the battery and once you plug the charger in so once you plug in the charger in like I'm not sure if you can say it's a green light it powers on you can have a fan spin and all the stuff and to confirm that that is a power button problem once I hold the button I'm trying to force it to turn it off but it doesn't turn off Another way to power on the machine, if the computer is not, if the power button doesn't work, on the motherboard, there's actually two pins that actually work as a power button. So basically, I just unplug the keyboard, and let me show you. To do this method, you actually have to open the machine, so to open the lead completely, and, and find those pins. The pin layout, depending what the motor is, is a bit different, so on the 15 inches it's more into the right side, on the 13 inches it's more in the left side. But there's a, a link I will share with you where you can find this website, where it will show you where the actual pins are. So for example, on this model, this is, this area is the power pin area. So what you want to do, you can want to get maybe like a pliers, or maybe a flathead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and basically what you just want to do, open the lid, and just carefully touch those two pins here, And as you see, the machine powers on. However, not a lot of people kind of, it's it's actually kind of a bit annoying, like to just get this powered on the machine, plug up the battery, plug the, plug the charger in or do the pins in. It's like, you're not gonna do this daily, daily basis. So it's kind of, it's kind of some, sometimes annoying, especially for his normal customers, people and all the stuff. The only way to always fix this is just to replace the action type keyboard due to the power buttons, which is that's more, Comfortable, you don't need to do all this fast opening the thing all this time when you want to power it on and all the stuff preventing this computer to shut down and all the stuff, which is that's kind of annoying. So, there's actually a good alternative way on how to actually save time. Like, you don't need to do a keyboard replacement if all the keys work. There's one thing you can actually do. Not a lot of people know about this, but some people forget about this little thing. It's it's basically this one came with the MacBook Pro Uniboard. It's, it's a battery, as you can see, it's just a battery indicator. So there's a solution, you know. Since there's another physical pattern in a site, you can actually try, you can actually manage to rewire, rewire basic a jump start this computer using this button by rewiring a cable from one of those pins, the main power pin, to the actual button connector, which is here. So. Depending on the model, you just need to find a pin where it's responsible for the power for the button in this side, and then rewrite a cable to this, rewrite the cable to the pin that's responsible. That once you power this on, it will power on the actual machine, which is that's a much be easiest solution. All right, so back to the MacBook. So the MacBook is in. Let's test it out. So let's open the machine. Let's open the cover, and and just gonna so let's just open the machine. Actually. Let's just do this way, okay? So, battery is plugged in, keyboard is plugged in, the wire I see is exposed, it's just rewired there, so that's the button, I'm gonna press it now. And we get a fan spin. And now if I hold this button, so, if I hold this button now, and now to turn this off, let's just hold the off button. The machine is off. Let's do it again. So let's see if I can get a camera somehow. So
Okay. Power on. Machine is powered off. If I hold the power by that button now. Machine powers off. Okay, so let me just do now a quick explanation. The way this works. So this is the motherboard. The actual board view, or you can say schematics, up to you. So the way it's easy to understand. So this is the power pads. Those are the power pads that power can actually be also be used to power on the machine. So as you can see, say as you can see here, it says SMC on and off. So basically, once this gets shorted to the ground, which is that's the ground, it will actually force the power on the machine. This area is the actual connector for the battery indicator. So this is the one where the battery indicator is. So you power it on, it shows the lights. So this is actually the connector that's responsible for. And the way it's easy to know this is that if you got a unibody and you figure out where the power pins are, what you want to do is find this connector and look for a pin number that is related to, SM to SMC button L, which is that's the button highlighted, which is I believe it's, uh, so for this specific model is pin 8. So pin 8 is the one that connects to the battery button. So what you need, so what is needs to be done, so this pin and the power pads needs to be connected. I chose this area where the capacitors are because it's actually easier to to rewire since they are slightly bigger capacitors. So and this is also connected so this capacitor is also related to the so this is also related to SMC uh, button L. So what you just need to do is just find this actual a command or the pin that is responsible for this function and just basically wire up wire up to the actual SMC on and off so once you click the battery power button it will actually power on the machine and will show the battery status as well this is maybe the best solution and will just save more time rather than getting a new keyboard or top case just for one button. So hopefully this advice will help you. So yeah, thanks for watching.